Welcome to One Way TV this week. Hopefully you've had a great week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And remember that, of course, you can tell your friends. OneWayTV.org and it's 7pm Friday and 9am Sunday. If you have any ideas that, or um, messages that you'd like to hear, let us know and we can incorporate them into the program as well. But otherwise, make sure you stay in hope and remember that this is your year. This year, this is my year, our year. Can you feel it? More motivation. 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 Synergy. 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 Adventure. 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 Responsibility. 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 Intimacy. 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 Achievement. Achievement. Advancement. 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 Determination. 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 Focus. Focus. This is my year. Honey, so? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Motivation, integrity, determination, synergy. Come on, honey. You're not even listening to me. I mean, I have a poster and everything this time. This is perfect. I mean business. Jack? This is my year. I promise. I'd like to have a dollar for every time I've heard the phrase, oh well, can't do much about it. It's a phrase that if you stop and listen, is repeated quite frequently. It could be used in relation to our health, this virus situation, problems at work, other people doing silly things that affect us, anything in general in our day-to-day -day lives that are often beyond our control and ability to change. It can also be used in situations that bring great stress and distress to us and we can get swamped by feelings of help helplessness. A few years ago, in the days of Paul, there was a lady called Tabitha. She was well respected within the community, somebody who was known for going around, doing good and helping out. She was also a good sewer and could sew tunics and other garments that were given to people in need. We can read about this story in Acts 9. Unfortunately, Tabitha became sick and died the body was prepared for burial. But there were a few people who were not prepared to say, oh well, can't do much about it. A few people decided that there was something that could be done, that there was still hope for Tabitha. They had heard that Paul, another disciple of Jesus, was in the area. They sent for Paul, imploring him to come and visit and to do what he could. We have to remember at this point, Tabitha was dead. Her body had been prepared for burial. There was nothing on earth that could bring her back to life. No medicine, no health treatment, no amount of wishful thinking. 
When the men arrived, Paul responded by immediately coming to visit. Here Paul found a unique situation, one that required him to draw on courage, faith and hope. Now that Paul was here, you could imagine that little flames of hope were just beginning to flicker in their hearts. The story of the miracle encounter that Paul had with Jesus and the stories of the miracles that Paul had performed in the name of Jesus had gone before him. He was a man of great faith and the fact that he was here amongst them meant that perhaps something great could happen here too. So they began to petition him, putting forward the cause of Tabitha and that she was always willing to help others and to do good. You could imagine a chorus of upset widows beginning to get excited and the noise that may have been coming from the upper room where Tabitha was. The fellow disciples were now expecting nothing less than life to come from death. They were believing that God would do something. Paul shooed them all away and took a moment to gather himself. He then knelt down and cried out to God, Tabitha, arise! Perhaps Paul didn't have a lot of confidence that God would raise Tabitha from the dead, but what he did have was faith. And it only needs to be as small as a mustard seed, enough to believe that God could possibly intervene in this situation and bring about a change for something to happen. At the sound of the voice of Paul, Tabitha opened her eyes and sat up. He helped her up took her outside and presented her to the others. This situation reveals to us the power of God to change situations that look hopeless and uncertain. When things aren't looking good, when we sit here and say, oh well, there's nothing I can do, we need to stop ourselves. We need to remind ourselves that no situation is beyond redemption by the power of God. There's no situation that is too far gone that something good can't come out of it. It only takes a little faith, a little flicker of hope to say maybe, maybe, maybe something could happen here. Maybe this situation could turn around. There's nothing beyond the power of God's redemptive hand. There's no situation too hard for him. The words Peter uttered weren't eloquent and long-winded. They were simply, Tabitha, arise. Simple words like, God help me, said with a little flicker of hope, is all that's required to bring down the power of Jesus. So when you find yourself in that situation again, cry out to God for help and watch your situation turn around. Have a great week.
Church, he's working through it all. Come on, let's sing. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. that you're our way maker we thank you that you are with us always you never leave us you never forsake us Lord you are the same yesterday today and forever Lord and there is nothing absolutely nothing that can come between your promises and us Lord and Father we thank you for that and we worship you for that thank you Lord In our prayer corner this week, we're going to continue to pray for our state and our nation. We thank you, Lord, that you are a waymaker, a miracle worker, a God who heals, who delivers, 
who keeps his promises and loves justice. A God who raises the dead with just words. For those who need healing, Lord God, we thank you that in your name, Lord Jesus, you bring health, healing and wholeness. We thank you, Lord, that you bring hope, enabling us to believe that this year is our year, even if things don't appear that way at times. Father, we thank you that you are a God of justice, grace and mercy. We pray that once again, justice, righteousness, grace and mercy would be the rule of law in this state and nation. We pray that our leaders would rule with these qualities and with fairness, honour and integrity. We ask, Lord, that if they aren't willing to lead with these nations, that you would cause them to repent or remove them. We ask, Lord, that you would help us restore our God-given freedom so that everyone can again live freely without fear, that they could be free to work, to earn a living and to be a society united as one. Stir your church, Lord. Help them to rise up and be lights that go into the world, not just people content to keep their light inside the church. Father, we ask for a move of your spirit. We thank you, Lord God, that you would move across Canada and Ottawa. We thank you, Lord, that you would move across the other nations of the world that are taking a stand. Father God, we thank you that you pour out your spirit, that there would be another revival across this world that you so dearly love. In your name, Lord Jesus, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, we give you all the honour and glory. Amen. Alrighty, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our scripture coming up, our memory verse, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Matthew 7 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you, from the New King James.